All right, so in this video, I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite methods for releasing um, those tension type headaches, as well as freeing up tension in the neck and the shoulders. So for this, we're gonna be working with a muscle called your sternocleidomastoid. We're just gonna call it your SEM from now on, because that's a mouthful. Um, and this muscle gets really short and tight whenever the head is forward, which, raise your hand, we all tend to be looking down at our phones a little bit too much, down at our devices, so we could all use this release. And for me, I do this one just about every day. Um, it's quick, it's super effective, and very safe. So uh, let's get to know your SEM really quick so you can kind of know the muscle that we're targeting. So your SEM attaches right behind the ear. There's a little bony knob if you want to palpate a little bit back there. It's called your mastoid process. Uh, this area in and of itself can build up a lot of tension, so it's a great place to just give a little massage, give a little attention to if you do notice as you palpate that there's some tension there. Uh, but then this muscle journeys down through the side of the neck and kind of wraps around a little bit more towards the front of it and connects all the way down to the collarbone. Obviously you have one on each side. And like I said, in, in most of us, this muscle tends to become short and tight. So for this technique, we're gonna be lengthening um, the tissues. And I like to use muscle energy technique. It's kind of a contract, relax. It's a highly effective technique. Um, some studies show that it's 10 times more effective than static stretching. And um, for me, linking this technique with the breath just gives it so much more power. So that's what we're gonna do today. All you need for this is to be able to find a nice tall spine. So even if you're seated um, at your desk at, um, in a chair, that's totally fine. You can sit on the floor like me or anything in between. So find a nice tall spine. And then let's go ahead and tilt your left ear to your left shoulder. Now, as you do that, you wanna keep your nose pointed forward. Sometimes um, and when I teach this in a class setting, I see people start to look down. So you wanna just laterally flex the neck, which that might feel pretty restricted and that's totally normal. Now, I want you to start where there's no level of pain though. So if you tilt to the side and there's some discomfort, just back up a little bit, right? Go ahead and drop that um, right arm down beside you. We're gonna bring your left arm up and over and rest it just above the ear. And then we're gonna be using this contract and relax. And when I tell you to push your head into your hand, kind of like so, I only want you to use about 10 to 20% of your strength. Less is more. If you push your head into your hand and you do notice um, any pain or discomfort, you're probably pushing too hard or you started in too deep of a stretch. So the answer is always to back up, give yourself a little bit of space uh, so that you can really open and release these tissues. All right, so coming back to where we were, nice tall spine, a little bit of lateral, lateral flexion. What I'm gonna have you do first is take a deep breath in. Hold your breath in. And as you're holding your breath in, gently press your head into your hand, drawing it towards center. And you might feel the side of the neck firing up. So as you're holding your breath, this muscle's soaking up this oxygen like a sponge. And then as you exhale, we relax and we allow those tissues to lengthen a little bit. We're not gonna crank the head to the side or force anything. We're gonna give this a few rounds. Take a deep breath in. Hold your breath. Press your head into your hand. We're gonna add on now by gliding the right shoulder up to the ear, getting our upper traps involved. They tend to hold a lot of tension too. Exhale, release the shoulder, then allow the neck to open. Notice if you got a little bit more space. I know I sure did um, whenever I got the upper traps involved. Inhale, hold your breath. Press your head into your hand gently. Glide your shoulder to your ear. Big exhale, let your shoulder drop. Now allow the neck to open. We're gonna do a little fascial glide now. So I want you just to back up whatever stretch you were in just a little bit. And you're gonna push your head into your hand about 5% of your strength. So really gentle. And we're gonna start to roll the head around. So drop the chin in towards the chest as you pull the belly back, round the spine a little bit, rolling the ear towards the shoulder, then let the head drop back a little bit and over to the other shoulder, finding these nice fluid circles with the head. 
And sometimes this can feel a little weird at first. Um, if you can, just kind of get out of your head and a little bit more into your body and just follow where it wants to go. I like to exhale as we drop the chin in and gently round the spine and then deep breath, inhale to roll back to center. Good, slowly make your way all the way back, get your head on straight again, and then release your arm down beside you. Now just take a moment to pause. And kind of notice the way one side feels versus the other, even down through the arms. As you reach your arms up overhead, maybe notice if one side feels a little bit more open. I know I certainly feel that. So let's do the other side so we're nice and balanced. So tilting your right ear to your right shoulder. Again, starting at a place where there's no discomfort, no pain. Go ahead and bring that right arm up and over just above the ear. Take your deep breath in. Hold your breath as you press your head into your hand. Big exhale, relax, allow the head to open. Inhale. Press the head into the hand. This time we'll glide the shoulder to the ear as well. Exhale, first let your shoulder drop, then allow the neck to open. Good, one more time. Inhale, press your head into your hand. Glide your shoulder to your ear. Big exhale, let the shoulder drop, allow the neck to open. Good, so just like before, we'll lift out of that lateral flexion just a little bit, and then about 5% of your strength pressing the head into the hand. And then we'll start to roll the head around. And as much as you can, let the rest of the body kind of move with you. As you can see, I'm rocking my hips back and forth. I'm hollowing the front body and then allowing it to open. And this will start to get um, a little bit more of our myofascial chains involved. Working in more of a holistic way rather than just isolating one muscle at a time, which can be really effective. We're always moving through a pain-free range of motion. Really just listen to your body, see where it wants to go. It will usually be your very best guide. And as you're ready, bringing the head up to center, go ahead and release the arm down, maybe shake them out a little bit. And then inhale, let's float both arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart at prayer. Good. So like I mentioned, this technique is one that I recommend you do daily, um, especially if you wake up with a stiff, stiff neck or shoulders. Obviously, this is a great one to do for that or those tension type headaches. Um, and as you're doing this, I usually recommend like three to five rounds of MET. So today we did three rounds. If you feel like you need a couple more, like I said, you're your best guide. Listen to your body. Um, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and stay tuned.